Daily Mail, my favorite site. I've been checking, reading Daily Mail since uh, like 15 years when I worked at a, a law firm. <laughs> We would come in, really we're supposed to be on those phones, and we'd be all on the little news sites, all on the little gossip sites. So here, and I shouldn't laugh because this one's kind of sad too. Um, Missouri woman accused of trying to delete husband by poisoning his Mountain Dew because he didn't appreciate everything she does for him. She didn't appreciate. See, you guys, y'all got to be careful. You get the wrong woman and, and you don't uh, appreciate what she's doing for you. You don't say thank you. You don't you don't bow down. You don't kiss her. You don't uh, write poems. You don't send her flowers. Uh, you know, these things can happen to you. Okay, so let me stop. A Missouri woman stands accused of trying to kill her husband by poisoning his Mountain Dew because he didn't appreciate everything she does for him. Michelle Peters, 47, she too old for that nonsense, was arrested on first degree assault and armed criminal action charges. I don't know what that is. And is currently held without bond in the Lassie County Detention Center. The mother, an esthetician, is accused of secretly adding the toxic weed killer Roundup. Oh my goodness, Roundup. I wonder what that tastes like. I know it smells horrible because we used to use that to kill those weed in between our roses, not roses, uh, the uh, trim and the brick, uh, trim, the trail. Okay, the mother, uh, okay, and her husband sold it on, oh, on several occasions between May and June. That old stupid man didn't realize that something wasn't right May, May and June. He was that darn freaking dumb. And she's an esthetician. Esthetician. I just learned how to pronounce the word, y'all. I never knew how to say the word. The people that do your facials, your massage. And, and, and she looks, ooh, she looks tough. Okay, on Sunday, I say that because I, I told y'all I met this lady a, a few weeks ago. Um, 70 year old lady, shouldn't say old, 70 year young lady, petite and everything. I think she told me she had six kids. She's from New Orleans. Lady barely had a wrinkle in her face and had that, that old style Anita Baker hairdo that everybody used to wear back in the day. And I still love that hairdo. Okay, so on Sunday, video footage provided by the victim shows Peter spiking her husband's drink with insecticide, according to the, the sheriff. I can't pronounce the sheriff. But she looked like one of them little silly soccer moms. Look at him. He looked like he might be younger than her, too. The victim noticed an odd taste in his diet soda around May 1st, but continued to consume it. Dum dum. Within a few weeks, he began experiencing symptoms, including a sore throat, coughing up mucus, diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting. Lebanon is accused of poisoning her husband with weed killer. Michelle Peters' husband started feeling sick while drinking his Mountain Dew. Investigators believe Michelle mixed Roundup, the weed killer, into the soda. Peters told the sheriff she got mad at her husband because he didn't appreciate the 50th birthday party she threw for him. She is now jailed on charges of domestic assault and armed criminal action. Michelle's husband survived. After feeling ill and knowing he was the sole member of the household who drank Mountain Dew, the victim became suspicious that someone was tempering with his drink. When confronted about his illness, Peters allegedly dismissed it as COVID-19. <laughs> Sorry. And advised him to stay away from the grandchildren. Oh, Lordy. Darling, that's COVID-19, baby. I need you to stay away from the grandbabies with, with, that, with that virus. Okay, the husband, however, suspected... Her motive was related to his $500,000 life insurance policy, according to Ozarks first, whatever that is. He then investigated and found video evidence of Peter spiking his beverages that were stored in the garage fridge on several occasions. And a whining explanation during police interviews, 
Peters admitted to mixing Roundup with the soft drink. She she finally admitted. She should have turned the uh, video cameras off. Okay, she also acknowledged placing insecticide in her husband's Mountain Dew and mistakenly thinking his soda was a bottle of Roundup. Lady, just fess up. Why are you still lying? They look like a happy couple. They went on a lot of trips and stuff. Okay, so here it says, uh, Peters justified her actions by telling officers uh, her husband was selfish. Uh, they had relationship issues. She was reportedly angry at her husband as he showed no appreciation for the 50th birthday party she organized for him and spiked his drinks to be mean to him. To be mean to him. That song's dumb. Here they sing glycophosite, glycophosite, don't get me, a chemical present in Roundup poses serious health risk if ingested, including increased saliva, mouth and throat pain, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and potential lethal consequences. Peters is currently awaiting a bomb review here in July the 2nd. Her husband survived and his condition is unknown at the time. I would have liked to know more. I'm trying to find some more information. Has he filed divorce? Did he cheat on her? Did she cheat on him? Did these relationship issues, did it just happen? Has it been going on? Uh, what are the ages? I guess their kids must be pretty old. They in their 50, so they should probably have kids in their early 20s or something. And he's got a $500,000 life insurance. So she really are they in debt? Well, let's send some prayers out to him and some of these men. And you see I said some of these men who are being targeted by their wives because the wives just woke up and she like, I'm mad at your butt. I got to find a way to get rid of you, get you out this house so I can get this life insurance policy and go on with my life while I'm still kind of young. You guys, I know I'm wrong for saying that, but hey, uh, you guys, uh, please leave me your comments. This is the end of our video. Check it out. I've got three, six, nine, twelve, and no, I have not forgotten about finishing my videos on pastors, preachers, evangelists, because I have a friend who just gave me some gossip just like two hours ago about a well-known pastor. And I was like, my goodness, how do you know all this stuff? But you guys, so, hey, I want to, again, thank you for your support. Thank you for watching my video. Uh, keep these people lifted up in prayers. Stay healthy, happy, and blessed. Thank you.